Hi everyone, in this video I want to show Navigator on Autopilot and how it works driving from regular road on Pacific Coast Highway to Beverly Hills and let's go for a ride together. I was just driving and the car started to freak out because it couldn't see where it going and it was beeping at me telling me to take over and this Pacific Coast Highway is pretty interesting because it merges into I-10 Highway but there's gonna be an exit to 405 North so the car will have to change lanes towards the highway and that's something I want to show you guys because from my experience the car changes lanes super confidently when you tell the car to change lanes so as you can see we are on PCH probably gonna cut this part of the video because it recognizes PCH as a regular road so there is nothing that indicates that it's navigator and autopilot but you can see the navigator and autopilot is on and once we once we're gonna be about here it's gonna automatically change it to navigator and autopilot and that part is also interesting because it's kind of freaking out there too and there's a tunnel so there's like so many variables already and I just want to show how the car behaves also for those who don't know the blue steering wheel means that the car is in control okay so there is a tunnel coming up and right about now you will see how the car will change these two lanes into one lane and that's what I was talking about like it's kind of does it a few times okay so right now it's on navigator and autopilot from now on the car will change lanes by itself whenever it thinks so but I also want to show how quickly the car will change lanes when I will press the stock to change lanes because it does it so quickly and I'm gonna show you right now look so I'm changing I told the car to change lanes and it does it so quickly like there's no delay whatsoever I'm telling it to go back into the lane so that was me telling the car and you can tell like my, my hands are off the steering wheel but you can tell how quickly the car does it also what I notice is when the car is entering the highway it does not increase the speed on this particular highway so right now on the screen it's telling me upcoming lane change car gonna let me know that it changes lanes and it will ask me to touch the steering wheel we are one and a half mile away from the exit towards 405 North and that's the car is trying to change lanes by itself so this is kind of traffic you see I'm also gonna turn on the cameras and you can see that it's doing it pretty good like there was a truck behind the truck changed lanes and the car just went straight into it I really like the fact that it doesn't like hesitate look once again changing lanes to follow the route there is a truck, the same truck behind us. You can see it on the screen, you can see it right there. And look, he is pretty close to us. The car will literally cut him off, look. Like the car doesn't care, look. It's about to cut him off. <laughs> like once it sees that there is a little bit of distance, keep in mind that this camera, the backup camera, it's wide angle. So whatever, it's not that far away. Like all the objects are pretty close to us. So I really like the fact that, look, so the car behaves pretty much like a human, I would say. Even here, like it changed lanes so quickly, so I did not have to do anything. And you can see it just follows the route. This one is pretty tricky because this lane, the right lane is the one that's gonna go on a highway. So the car needs to go here like immediately because, you see, and it does it so, like, I'm impressed. Navigator and autopilot is very helpful, especially like, I mean, there's not much traffic in this particular area and especially because it's Sunday, but so far you can tell it does it like perfectly. Here you will see that the car reduced speed to 60 miles an hour. It will actually do the same thing even if you're going to be on a regular autopilot. So it doesn't matter whatever you're using. Now these two lanes going to merge into one lane and the car would kind of freak out I would say if there would be a car on the left but there is no cars and it's gonna do it perfectly you 
you'll see on the screen. It merges. So it wasn't like really challenging for a car. These two lanes are gonna merge into one. You can see that the car is already trying to go this way. No one is on the left, so it merges perfectly. Also, if there is a car on the left trying to merge into your lane, car will actually avoid the collision like it will steer to avoid colliding with that car which I really like because I thought it's just gonna go into the lane but I noticed on the several rides that the car actually just changes lanes so look so it says changing lanes to follow route and it goes perfectly like no hesitation nothing it says navigate an autopilot ending in 500 feet. You will see how it, this changes into regular autopilot. Then it says stopping for traffic control in 700 feet. And right now, look, this is like city streets. I'm gonna let the car know to change lane to the right one. And look how quickly it's gonna do it. Like, boom. I do not have FSD beta enabled, so I will have to steer myself and the car most likely gonna freak out a lot right here. So I'm letting the car go. Okay, so <laughs> it was already freaking out. Yeah, I had to take over in that part, obviously, but we are on Santa Monica Boulevard. And when you're driving on city streets, you can actually change lanes on city streets as well. This guy is super close to me, like super close to me. Okay, this is like hella traffic and let's see how quickly the car will cut off somebody if I need to like change lane to that lane to the right lane and okay so there's a BMW I will let it pass a little bit and then I will turn okay so I'm turning right now look I'm letting the car know to change lanes and it just goes like that BMW is right behind us if you need to go somewhere in LA you have to cut people off like Otherwise, you're not gonna get to your destination pretty much. You're gonna miss an exit or something. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!